Okay, starting off, yeah, um, this right here. Now, you read that for yourself? It's getting reported. Now, here. Seriously? Are you fucking joking? And the big telltale thing is zero gamer score, generic fucking name, gamer tag, and yeah, it's got the, the fucking hashtag numbers thing. Well, not hashtag, pound sign and numbers after it because it's unoriginal. And status is offline. And oh, look, loads of friends. Yeah, me? No, I'm not your fucking friend. <laughs> However, here, let me show you. <laughs> uh, see alerts I've read. Yeah. Two hours ago, that profile followed me. For fuck's sake. See full profile. More? Uh, yeah, I've already reported it, so, um, block, ban from club, yeah, don't have any clubs. This is nothing new. What the, what... There's, there's two things going on here. First, more scammers attacking me. That's what's going on here. And that would lead to another fucking social media bullshit with some random lying scumbag piece of shit lying on me again. And the second thing, you're gonna fucking love this. After a jit pie. Did away with net neutrality. There were some other things in there that were actually protecting all of you. There's a laundry list of things. You want to know the specifics? Look it up for yourself. I, I'm not going to bother even going and, and looking up all the details myself. I don't even want to know all the details. Because it's a laundry list of shit. Even the bullet points is a laundry list of shit. But to summarize it, robocallers and tech support scammers and prostitution scammers like that, like I just showed you, they were allowed free reign because they work for a company yeah they fit under that umbrella that was allowed free reign over the internet when net neutrality was abolished so because these scam artists and con artists and scammers and shit grouped together and they call themselves a company and they get all the legal documentation and trust me, they're found out and they're done away with. In the next month, they've got a new company name and, and a new fucking lease on the, the company and, and all kinds of shit. They know how to do this paperwork. They keep doing it over and over again. Like those tech support scammers that uh, another YouTuber actually uh, hacked into... And uh, fucked with them. Someone in the comments, please post a link to the uh, the other fellow who backhacked the tech support scammers. So everyone has a nice basis for what the fuck is really going on here. But anyway, because they get together, they call themselves a company. They do all the appropriate paperwork for it. 
they're out of the United States, so they can't be tried and convicted under United States federal law. So it has to be international law. And a lot of other countries, they really don't give a fuck. Especially in India. That's why a lot of uh, scammers are based in India. And in uh, Cameroon, South Africa, or Central Africa. I forget which. But it's Cameroon and another place in Africa. Uh, fuck. The 419 scams. Um, Scam Nation, Scam School. Look them up. Look up their video on 419 scammers. They can tell you a bit about it. This shit. This is out of fucking control. Because this is fucking daily nonsense. And it's not just on Xbox. It's fucking uh, robocalling on my, on my phone. Probably a lot of other people too. It's emails. Spam, junk emails, constant. Somebody's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. I think we met somewhere. Like, how the fuck did we meet somewhere? <laughs> I hardly ever get out of this place I'm in. Like, once or twice a month to go get groceries. That's it. Anyway, for fuck's sake, this shit's goddamn ridiculous. All because the assholes in charge want to fuck you over. They manufactured this problem so that they could sell you a fake solution to it. Uh, a while back it was the, the telezapper. Because commercials were forcefully made louder than the, uh, the television show. Anybody remember that shit? Or... Um, What was that other thing? Chain letters? Fucking chain letters. What is it, back in the, the 60s through the uh, early 80s? Assholes mailing you a chain letter saying, if you don't mail a copy of this letter to ten friends, you'll die. Or some bullshit like that. Yeah, looking back, you can joke about it now, but back then it was a fucking bullshit thing that people had to deal with. It's nothing new. It's just the way it's being done is in the modern society. It's nothing new. But the fact, the, the truth that it exists is the part that I'm like, oh, fucking hell, that shouldn't even be a fucking thing. Why the hell are the asshats in charge not doing anything to fix this shit? The answer is simple. They don't give a fuck about you. And five times out of ten, yeah, one time out of two, 50% of the time, half the time, they're the ones who are setting these companies up to do it. Especially the porno companies. They love raking in loads of cash. They love recurrent user spending. And you can look to uh, Jim Sterling for a bit about recurrent user spending and egregious over-monetization of video games. Because it's the same damn thing in, uh, in the porn industry and in the online dating industry. Same fucking shit. And it's leaked into my fucking game. My, not my game, but my gaming. Because I'm getting harassed by these scammers and con artists. Who are, um, half the time, they're funded and set up by government officials who want nothing more than to just rake in money or fuck with people for the fun of it. And the other half of the time, it's a minor group of scammers and con artists who are just bitches who need to be done away with. Either way, the whole fucking group of them, all the, all the assholes behind all of it need to be done away with. The, the truth that it exists 
That's what should concern you. Not how I'm describing it or presenting it to you. For fuck's sake. I just want to fucking enjoy my gaming sessions without being harassed by this shit. It's too fucking much. It's just too fucking much. Every fucking day. They've got some serious pair of balls on them, you know? To keep doing this during this global pandemic that's going on. Like it does every 100 years. they got some serious balls on them to be that fucking blatant of a bitch. It's just unfucking real, isn't it? The way it looks, it looks like it's just fake. Because don't expect it to happen to you until it fucking does. And then you're like, holy shit, what do I do? And it shocks your fucking ass because of your bullshit normalcy bias. Because you've been trained by your government gods to believe what the fuck they tell you. And what they tell you is, don't trust this guy. Just look at him. The fuck does how I look have to do with the truth that you're letting bullshit happen to people, including me? <laughs> eh, fuck it. Fuck America. Fuck your ideals. Fuck you.